Well, you did actually break the lock. Yeah, so it, Giselle it, basically it rolls up the that explosion. It, it break, broke in the explosion. Yeah, so it's it kind of weird. So Giselle like just runs up, you know, with a key in hand, looks at you, mouse. Her eyes widening in fear, realizing that you probably broke the only thing that could probably delay the rogues for about 10 minutes as they tried to uh, unlock it. No, it wouldn't. Okay, great. It was easy. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, Sleazy, can I call you Sleazy? <laughs> only my family calls me Sleazy. Beat? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Beat. I like your style, kid. <laughs> Listen, I'm all for you getting into that basement, but look, there's just too many of you guys here. If you all rush in, the place will get trashed, no one's happy, right? You won't find the thing you're looking for. What I propose, you come with us inside, we all go to the basement, check it out. I'll talk with my guys that uh, back in the inn, they listen to me, I'm, I'm kind of a god for them. Yeah, like a, a small rogue comes in and says, he makes a persuasive argument, boss. And Sleazy P just slaps him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look, uh, Tim, can I call you Tim? Mr. Roghard, I would prefer. Good, okay, well, Mr. Roghard, I have, I have 50 crossbows pointed at your chest. So, either, you know, you tell your little friends to come out, or, well... I think we're gonna stick to our original plan and burn the place down. I mean, gold doesn't melt, does it? There's a lot of sugar. Uh, uh, actually, up to temperatures <laughs> <laughs> exceeding. Uh, okay, I'll go. Uh, okay, as, as, as you know. Listen, then. give us 15 minutes. I'll I'll go talk to the guys, talk do the all guys. the like song and dance. We'll come out, help you burn down the inn. If you really want that. He, he looks like, you know, he, he looks a bit confused. <laughs> he wasn't really planning, you know, on, on having you join in, but so uh, he recovers quite quickly and says, Yeah, yeah, you know, let's make, make actually, let's cut the, let's cut it to five minutes. Seven minutes? Ten? You hear like a lot of crossbows. You know, <laughs> <laughs> five minutos! I like your style, kid. <laughs> I go back if, you so, if you survive this, I might have a job for you. Yeah. I go back behind the door, run to all the the guys that are what, by the basement. Well, yeah, the, you basically you run you run you run to the guys and you see that they they're gonna kill us. They're gonna kill us. They're gonna kill us. They're gonna kill us. I think I think they're gonna kill us and they're gonna burn down this, the place. They're gonna kill us. So Let's go check out. It's not over till it's over. Let's go check out the basement quick. See if it's something there. We can hide it, that's what I mean. Okay, well... <coughs> five minutes. Where is Dietrich? Hmm? Where is Dietrich, actually? He's uh, <laughs> washing his clothes in blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I was changing my clothes <laughs> in my room. Actually, <laughs> I, as, 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 as you're changing your clothes, <laughs> up like, uh, the window opens up and a bat that tries to sneak in like, yes, sees uh, you soaked in blood, <laughs> closes the window and just sneaks <laughs> Okay. There's still, like, still, still bits of goblin stuck to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goblin brain, blur, brain never washes out. Okay, we have so no time for that. I go in. Go in. Okay. Um, do, do you lock... Well, the door is... Um, you cannot lock the door, but you can try to barricade it. In fact, you have about... Uh, you, have, you have like a very short moment of time to actually de try to delay the uh, inevitable pursuit. Cause well, we have five Ooh, minutes. Let's go and check what's in there. Hey, uh, you know, uh, we do work here. Are there any, like, uh, handyman supplies around here, like some nails or something that we could nail? Yeah, you know, the, 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 there is, like, Gusto actually knows where it's it was. not gonna help you when the house is burning. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, but no, well, the lock, <clears throat> it, it would delay them as much as the lock would. Why do you think they're gonna come in? We just burn the house in. Okay. Okay. I hear like someone shout outside, Three more minutes! We um, go in! <laughs> they gonna <laughs> kill us! They that was kill one us. at the most! Hmm? That was one minute at the most. Okay, four! I like your style, kid! <laughs> uh, Come speak to me if you live! We <laughs> might, I might have a job for you! <laughs> uh, can I make one spell? 
Yeah. Uh, while I am upstairs and here is all uh, a mess, uh, negotiation, yeah. it? Whoa, uh, okay. I come to the window which leads to the yard. Okay. And cast First floor or second floor? Because the window. From the second floor, okay. I see the 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 yard. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I want to cast uh, grease. The masculine of people. <laughs> <laughs> grease. Uh, when the gym, uh, when the team run inside, yeah. uh, I want to cast uh, the grease uh, near the door. So. Just okay. a little bit further. So okay. it would burn. If someone, <laughs> if someone will come, uh, he will. See. Okay, so that accomplish that. Okay, that accomplishes this. Um, you did actually cast grease in front of your door. Mm -hmm. uh, it made it extra flammable. But <laughs> not not in in front. I wanted in the yard. No. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying. But basically, okay, okay it made it flammable. It also means that anyone, because it's dead of the night, they don't they mm -hmm. uh, they don't actually see you cast because uh, you're yeah you're, you're kind of quite far away. Uh, they will. Anyone who tries to pass will slip. Well, mm -hmm. well, has a chance of slipping. And anyone who tries to set fire to the building while standing on the grease will have happy feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay. So, yeah. okay, so is that the sixth position, like? Or? <laughs> I like the style, kid. <laughs> Keep him coming. I like this kid. Live him alive. <laughs> okay, I go down. I don't care what anyone else is doing. I'm going down, and I'm pushing okay. Giselle to the wall. Okay. Uh, well. Giselle is actually co coming with you mm -hmm. uh, because you know never have too much firepower, and she doesn't want to die. It's one of those and things. I'm going down where <laughs> the fire shall not reach. Okay, well, the basement doesn't. Well, mo most of the basement doesn't look any different than you remember. It's just you know like large casks of wine or any other alcohol that's uh, that you don't actually bottle They're up. Gonna kill us. But you do notice one thing. One of the casks. Uh, which you know looked like any other cask uh, yesterday is actually slightly ajar, which is really weird because normally if you know if it's slightly ajar, it would you know th th there'd be a lot of spilled drink, mm -hmm. but there's nothing. It's just slightly ajar and it's completely empty. Hmm. It's completely empty. Let's see. Well, no, no. Let's it's, it's it, it looks empty, but uh, I oh, say we I ignore the cask. Uh, can I touch it? Hmm? Can I touch it? Inspect it? Uh, you can, but um, who touches it? Yes. Who well, I go and check it. Okay, uh, roll a, a dexterity check. Twelve. Uh, you pass, but barely. Um, as you touch it, you, uh, f like flames, uh, you know, just spring, uh, spring from the from from, uh, uh, from, from uh, the lid where, where where your hand would have been, but you manage to just pull out a time. Uh, the barrel is actually seems protected because it looks like an entryway to somewhere quite important. Um, Giselle, uh, Giselle says, "I'll handle this." Uh, basically, takes a stick and just uh, tries to gently, gently, like edge, edge it out. There's actually uh, there seems to be a passageway behind there. Mm -hmm. Just like barrel, mm -hmm. barrel mm -hmm. passage. Is it a big barrel? It's a big barrel. It's one of those huge barrels. Yeah. You know, like one of those like that's. Okay, it's very huge. Yeah, it's it's not like a small barrel. It's literally like one of those where you know you just they stay stand for months because this is you know medieval times. They don't just carry. Okay, them. there's a passage. Um, mm -hmm. How much time has passed? I used the passage. <laughs> okay, great. Well, from, from upstairs, you have two more minutes, guys. Like, yes, that's cool. That's cool. I'm cool. just gonna check. Let's go inside. Okay, you go inside. And Giselle closes the barrel behind you. And just, uh, Wait, just. So, so hmm? Who's inside though? No, all of us. <laughs> all of there's, us. A, there's a passage literally just leading further down. Wow. So we just go in. It's a tunnel. Hmm? Okay. It's a tunnel. tunnel behind it. Okay, if they're not walking fast enough, I don't care. I'm just walking. Mm -hmm. Okay, Is actually, <laughs> make a dexterity check. Did you die horribly? <laughs> it's That's 2 plus 4, 6. <laughs> okay, but basically happens is you ru you're running happily, and then you just uh, you trip over something, and you fall headfirst into what essentially is a mailed fist, which also propels you backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald had a sense of humor, but um, take uh, well, let's see. <clears throat> oh, it's just you know it's it, it greased your cheek, but you're you're largely fine. That, did anyone see? Some... No, no one. Nobody saw because you were ahead. 
We cool. had some dark feelings. So. <laughs> now the passageway is... Uh, is it well, lit? That's the, the point. It's, it's, it, you don't see any sources of light, but it's, it, it's, very, it's very dim. But it seems to be... Uh, the stonework itself seems to be glowing with an eerie, like, sort of bluish glow. Hmm. You also notice that it actually goes quite far deep. It's not just, you know, like, oh, there's a secret passageway and there's a room inside. It actually, it's... Uh, actually, you two, you're, you're dwarves, right? You have stone yeah. sets. Yeah, uh, we have dark vision also. Yeah, so roll, you know, roll, roll uh, stone sets. Uh, I think it's history times two or something? Uh, history, proficiency times two. So that'll be four plus whatever you have for history. Okay. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. So this you notice that it's actually it, it, it's it's it's, you know, it's very very gently like going round like a spiral. Hmm? Okay, so I the, don't know about this. Into the depths of hell. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, down. Yeah, You're correct. You mm -hmm. spiral time. <laughs> Ronald never told you about this. Okay. Well, guys, we need a plan. I don't uh, care. I'm just. I don't know what plan. Yeah, you still go down, down and uh, make another dexterity check. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, well, we can barricade the door at least. 17 plus... Uh, uh, could uh, uh, 21. Blow, blow the passageway? Huh? Uh, could uh, an exploding bottle, like an exploding potion, uh, uh, basically cave well, it, it, in? Uh, the... I, I understand. It, it won't be able to cave in because it's very sturdy work. You uh -huh. can destroy the barrel, which means that you know it's going to be a huge pile of you know yeah. iron bag. Guys, okay, let's not <laughs> let's not but explore then it's gonna, the then it's, then it's basically going to tell them immediately that you know something happened to the barrel. Uh, yeah, Guys, yeah, yeah. we don't know if this leads to somewhere. Let's not explode a yeah good the single one exit we know. Like okay, let's 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 let's. let's well, the, there's fire there. Let's the thinking be done by the thinkers. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like just just hey, go. Yeah. I recognize the argument. How long did your illusion last? Minutes? One minute? And you're useless. But the thing um, is, uh, you, if you want, you can make like a creative illusion of, of some sort that just... Well, he insulted me. I don't want to make illusions for him. Okay. Um, yeah, you don't want to live Yeah, well, you well know, your survival does depend on this still, so... He's yeah. not the only one illusionist. So oh, right. Oh, yeah. we have our game guy. As you guys are arguing amongst the souls, professionally you feel, trained. <laughs> as you're arguing amongst the souls, you do you feel that the tugging in your mind, which was present, there, which was very faint at the beginning of the evening, as you go deeper, it's, it intensifies. It's um, it's not something that's uh, that's very secret from you. You, you, can, you, you can tell that uh, uh, on each other's faces that you know something's actually happening. It's it's not quite a voice, it's kind of like a need, a desire to go there. Uh, well, for guys... I mean, you, you, can, you, can, you, you can resist it, but the point is that uh, um, you... Well, let's go... Let's you you can tell that you're not the only one. Guys, 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 before we go any further, we need to do something about the rogues. But no, <laughs> because they, if well, they, they burn the place, so okay, it's cave in. Yeah, well, that's it. they're not gonna notice a barrel a jar if they burn they down the place. For sure. We did cl uh, close the barrel. So. Mm. Mm. Well, we're gonna find it. We found it easily. We're gonna find it. Definitely. Well, don't forget that Giselle did close it now, yeah. so it's not gonna be. Uh, yeah. not, they're not gonna notice it immediately, but they will search everything thoroughly and they will yeah. find it. Yeah, so can we so start like at least barricade the door? And second of all, can you cast illusions? What illusion do you want? Something that lasts long. Mm. long I think time. one of you has mending or something, which basically can uh, repair the barrel, so basically make it look completely yes. like uh, completely normal. Yeah, you can like uh, cast illusion on that barrel entrance to like, look like make something a dragon. else. Like, make I don't a dragon. Know. Uh, well, we could basically cast an illusion in the well, back of the barrel to cover the uh, tunnel. It looks like it, uh, the barrel opened and the well, there's nothing here. No, no, it's not we might stumble. No, extent. my illusions are not so... It's minor illusions, so... One you more minute! You should make a dragon, I'm telling okay, you. Okay, guys, this is really fruitful, all this stuff. Love we it. We could make a mine out of the bottle. Why don't mm. we just... Go? So we're just leaving it like that. You, can, you still have. Um, they're not gonna find the barrel immediately, because it's you know it's it's not an obvious like it, if 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 I made if, some if you traps, so I yeah. think we uh, even if, if I made some traps. We are good for I think hour. What traps did you make? The, uh, the grease, grease trap. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Oh, you can you can also cast grease on you know the entrance yes. of the bell if you want. Kills. <laughs> 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 